Hello and welcome to the Diva Home and Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Brenda Douglas of the 50 Plus Home Team, and I help people to not only procure a home investment, but also maintain and keep it. Furthermore, we help people to gracefully age in place, downsize or right size into the perfect home. I want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so that you can receive a notification whenever we upload another episode. We want to welcome you to the family. Stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Brenda Douglas and let me tell you that we are in the peak of hurricane season. Yes, we do have hurricanes here in Prince George's County, Maryland, um, but hurricane season lasts from June the 1st through November. Um, However, during this time of year of September, October, we have an excessive amount of rain, right? Um, So... Yeah, so I want to share some ways that you can protect your home from flooding from rain. Now, let me just suggest that because hurricane season happens every year, you want to be proactive and you want to jump on it sooner rather than later. In other words, don't wait until we're in the midst of the hurricane season. You want to go ahead and do it maybe um, in the summer or maybe even in the spring and go ahead and jump ahead of that. Right now, though, we are in the fall, right? And in the fall, we have a lot of rain. Like I said, in these past few days, we have had a steady flow of rain. I mean, it's been steady from morning to, to the next day and next day we've had up to three days. And this is typical for this time of year here in Prince George's County, Maryland. So we want to be proactive and we want to uh, get on these things sooner rather than later. Now, I am looking for a professional who is able to speak on this topic. If you are able to suggest someone, then please do so. Uh, But in the meantime... Do so in the comments. Put the person's information in the comments or reach out to me personally so that I can reach out to him or her to um, speak to the audience about ways that they can prevent their home from flooding. In the meantime, I'm going to go off of experience as well as research, right? So some of the ways that you can prevent your home from flooding include... Um, clearing out the storm drains, right? Storm drains are intended to divert excess water, right? Now, storm drains, um, they look like vents almost or metal grates, right? And what it does is it, it pushes the flow of the water away from the house. It drains the water off of the streets, And let me just also say that a gutter and then the downspouts are all a part of a um, storm drain. The purpose is to protect your property, protect around your property, um, keep it from flooding. If it is backed up, first of all, if the, if the drain, if the, I'm sorry, the gutters and the downspout, they're your responsibility as the property owner. However, when it comes to underground pipes and things of that nature, then the city is responsible for that um, main drainage. So if you just so happen to notice that it takes a long time for your backyard to um, drain, or maybe just street, it takes a long time. The water stays steady, stays um, stays uh, high for longer periods of time. You may want to alert them before it gets any worse. 
And as I've mentioned, the gutters and the downspout, the gutters is on the, around the top of the house. And then the downspouts, those are little pipes. Uh, they're not really pipes, but they're like fat, I don't even know how to describe them, fat white things that go down <laughs> the side of your house. What happens is the rain hits your roof and then it drains onto the, um, onto the gutter and then it goes down the spouts and it's kind of sort of directed towards the, the, uh, street right so the gutters and the downspout again that's your responsibility as a property owner however you want to protect it from uh, debris so you want to make sure that your gutters and your downspouts spouts are unclogged right sometimes in the fall especially we get a lot of leaves that fall off of the trees right then you have um then we have, like during the summer, we had a lot of storms, right? So sometimes you may have those little tree branches and things of that nature um, in the drain. So you just want to make sure to, and also dirt can get in there as well. So you just want to make sure that your gutters and your downspouts are clean. Again, I want you to be safe. I want you to be safe as we get older. And I'm talking about myself, but as we get older, um, you know, we need help with those things sometimes. So it's okay to hire a professional to clean out your gutters, to clean out the downspout and keep it free of leaves and debris so that the water flows down those things and um, out into the street. And also, guys, you want to make sure that your roof is, the shingles on your roof are secure. Right, because if a shingle gets loose, water gets down in there, and then, um, and then you know you have a problem. It, it floods, right? So you want to make sure that the um, the tiles um, are tacked down on the roof. Now, what I suggest you can do is again call a professional out. Some of them will come out and do an inspection. Um, for low cost or no cost, right? So you want to make sure that your shingles are secure on the roof so that nothing can leak through. Once it leaks through, then we have a problem, right? Because even if they replace that shingle down the road, you still have moisture down there, right? So you want to, um, that can seep down, you know, and cause problems. So you want to make sure that your shingles are secure on the roof so just kind of do like a preparation for the season type of thing and like I said now we're already in hurricane season I suggest that if you see those things now that you reach out to a professional immediately to get them to um, to um, inspect those and then correct them right because uh, you don't want a bigger problem down the road sump pumps you want to make sure that your sump pump is functioning properly right Sump pumps are usually located in the basement of a house, and the purpose is to keep the water out of your house, right? It's sort of like a storm drain, right? It keeps the water from your basement. So if you see a little water near that um, drain or that sump pump area, then you need to, um, you know, you need to do something immediately. Now, not every home will need a sump pump, but... It's best to have one even if you have one installed or an alternative installed um, to protect your home and your home, your family. And just to FYI, the lifespan of a sump pump is 7 to 10 years, right? So again, you just want to kind of monitor that little, it looks like a little hole, I guess, in the ground. It can be there um, in the basement. So you just want to monitor it, make sure no water is coming up. Now, I want to also mention that a sometimes you can get a backflow prevention device, right? And it prevents the sewage from backing up, right? But sometimes when it rains heavily, then you sometimes can have debris back up into um, this, get into the sewer sit, uh, system, right? So having a backflow prevention device can help prevent that. And then I know that you've seen on the news channel, sometimes when it's going to rain heavy, when there's a tornado, when there's a hurricane, sometimes you will see sandbags. Well, you can actually purchase sandbags from the Home Home Depot store. I don't want to give a name to it, but you know, the Home, home what is it called? The Home Repair Stores. <laughs> you can purchase sandbags, right? Um, to prevent the water the, or direct the flow of the water and prevent 
it from flowing, especially at the entrance. But remember, you want to be careful about how you position those sandbags because um, if you are not careful, then you'll end up trapping water where you don't want it, right? So be sure to have a plan of action in terms of um, a way to divert the water away from where you don't want it to go, right? Now, earlier I mentioned... Um, or actually sometimes, let me just say, sometimes people have flooding in the backyards, right? So it may be a great idea for you to install a French drain so that um, so that it protects your backyard from flooding. And then last but not least, get flood insurance. Now, one of the things about having flood insurance, I suggest you take a picture of everything that's in your home. Right, so that when you file a claim, you'll have evidence of what you previously had, right? And that's for tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever inclement weather that could destroy your, your belongings. Typ not typically, homes have to have home insurance anyway, but flood insurance is um, optional. Now, there are some homes that are in flood zone areas, and I'm going to put the link to where you can look to see where your home falls in the flood zone, which category it falls in. I'm going to put the link for you to put in your address and you to discover where your home, or whether or not your home falls in a heavy flow, uh, a flooding area. And then also, if you are purchasing a home, it's good to find out what is the flood um, zone um, for that area. And the reason being is because you, some areas you're required to have flood zone insurance. And also it can be, I don't want to say expensive, but it is true. It can be expensive, right? Flood zone, flood zone, uh, flood insurance, I'm sorry, depending on the area. So again, I'm going to put a flood map um, website for you to punch in, and this is for Maryland, for you to punch in the address and you'll find out whether or not that home is in a flood zone, right? And I suggest you do this again, whether you are um, purchasing a home or whether you live in a home. If you live in a home already, then you should know. <laughs> Your insurance should reflect the flood as well, right? Or it should have been suggested to you. All right, guys, I hope that this has been helpful. Um, I just kind of did this on the fly because once again, it is raining <laughs> here in the DMV. DMV stands for District of Columbia, Maryland, and Northern Virginia. It is raining and it has been raining for several days now. And they are predicting more, but this is typical for this time of year. So, um, so because of that, I've did this uh, video for, I'm sorry, video, podcast for you to um, understand some ways that you can protect your home and your property. Again, if you know of a professional who is able to speak on this topic, please reach out to me or have the person reach out to me so that I can um, interview them to get uh, further information. All right, guys, I hope that this has been helpful. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon.